In this video, I'm going to analyze data, talk about standard deviation and variance using the TI-84+. So um, we're dealing with, uh, I've dealt with standard deviation and variance, I should say, in a different video. Basically, you find the mean of a set of numbers, you find out how far away each individual data point in the set is away from that mean, then you want to square that difference so the negatives uh, aren't canceled out by the positive, so everything's positive, basically. Uh, then you add those squares together. Then you, uh, once you have the added square differences away, you just divide by how many terms there are, and that'll give you your variance. And then to find the standard deviation, you want to sort of eliminate the effect of squaring it by taking a square root. So you square root the variance, and it'll give you the standard deviation. Now, uh, a calculator will do this relatively quickly for you, specifically in this video, TI-84+. So let's bring it up and see how it works. Now, in order to do this, I need to make a list of my numbers. I'm going to go to the stat menu to do that and edit. There's a list already in here. Uh, be careful. If you go up and click L1 and delete it, it'll often delete L1 completely. So when you go back and try to use L1 to do um, other statistical things or uh, box and whisker plots or anytime you have to use L1, you'll think that the first one you typed in is L1 and it kind of messes with you. So it's easier sometimes just to sort of uh, click up and down the list a little bit and then just start deleting individual points. Unless you have a gigantic number, I would probably go that route. Anyway, type them all in. There's not that many in this set because I just kept the one I did when I did it by hand, and or I did the long explanation. I didn't want that many of them. So uh, click back up to make sure the L15 is that number should be. It means list one. There's five terms in it if you're in the last number. So. Um, that way it matches in case you have a big set that you have to deal with. Anyway, now that I have my list, I can hit second and quit and get out of it. I'm going to go in into the uh, setup menu again, so I hit stat. I'm going to do uh, one variable statistics. So when I do that, I want to tell it what list I'm picking from. I'm not going to pick a frequency list here. And I'm just going to hit calculate. Now it'll tell me pretty much everything that I need to know. It tells me what um, my mean value is, so it tells me it's 8. So if I were to uh, pop that out, I would say, well, here's my mean value right here. See if I can get it to do it. I'm going to bring it back up now. So in this case, right here is my mean value, so I could say my mean value here is 8. Um, and then what I really want to look for is the sigma, because that's where standard deviation kind of lives and it is 3.1 or 3.098 this whole thing so I might say just like I found before but the nice thing is it gives you all the information in one little setup uh, very convenient it tells you the number of terms in the series and if you need to do some sort of quartile analysis it tells you all that information so it's good you know go ahead and uh, use how it goes it also in this case sort of gives you um, the sum of the numbers, it'll tell you the sum of the numbers squared in case you need to know that. Uh, the whole thing, kind of the world is your oyster in a way, I guess. So, uh, But standard deviations, what you're looking for here, just pull the uh, sigma term and you're fine.